Well, I'm pleased to welcome Cassie Wright, who is a registered dietitian with Rochester Regional Health, back to the program. Cassie, great to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thanks so much for having me. So our spotlight uh, these couple of days is on nutrition. Uh, and specifically for this conversation, we're really talking about uh, good nutrition as it relates to people that suffer from heart disease, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and heart healthy foods maybe mm -hmm. is a good way of thinking about it. Let's take it from two, two sides of the same coin. One, the foods that aren't so heart healthy, mm -hmm. and then maybe the ones that are more heart healthy. Okay. So generally when we're talking about foods to be careful of or avoiding, we focus on saturated fats and trans fats. Um, in particular, those are the fats that have been linked to creating a lot of problems for people um, with heart disease or preventing it, thinking about avoiding it for mm. people. Um, typically, guidelines really encourage men and women to be under 20 and 15 grams of saturated fat a day, and the foods that provide those are the foods that were once alive and breathing, cows, pigs, things like that. Um, trans fats are foods that, um, it's a type of fat that's typically added artificially to foods. Typically, packaged foods is where you'll find them. So we generally encourage encourage people to be reading labels for trans fats, particularly hydro partially hydrogenated oils. Let's drive home the nutrients that we really want to focus on as part of a healthy, heart-healthy diet. Yeah, and this is the great part, is talking about what we should be eating, yeah. right? People like this message. So really, really focusing on tons of fruits and vegetables to really increase our fiber intake, and really having people track fiber intake to aim for at least 25, if not 35 grams of fiber a day. The foods that provide those are things like lentils, beans, fruits and vegetables, nuts, nut butters, um, really a lot of our plant foods, foods that grow in the ground or on trees. Um, and then in addition to that, we really focus on lean proteins, fish, shellfish, chicken, um, and really the biggest push currently is to encourage people to start incorporating some plant-based meals into their diets a couple times a week if they can. So meaning a meal without any dairy or meats or things that come from animals. There are a couple other things we want to bring into this conversation that relate to this topic. Mm -hmm. uh, not food specific, but uh, in terms of weight management and then physical activity as well. They, they kind of are companion pieces to this whole mindset, if you will. Correct, yeah. When you look at studies related to heart health or just health in general, we know the heavier we are, the more at risk we are for various ailments like diabetes, heart disease, heart failure. And so really helping people focus on a 7 to 10 percent weight loss can drastically improve their health, out health outcomes for the long term. And then of course outside of nutrition related to weight management, really focusing on physical activity, particularly breaking up sedentary time, mm -hmm. is something we talk about. You know, setting your microwave for every 20 minutes to force yourself to get up and turn it off. Um, little tidbits like that just help people maybe get towards a better weight management um, situation. If people watching are seeking more information uh, on this topic, what are some good resources for them? Um, I generally refer people to the American Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics at eatright.org. Mm -hmm. um, the American Heart Association, of course, has some really valuable resources. And then if people are willing to go to USDA Dietary Guidelines, there's some really great pictures and graphics that help encourage healthy foods through visual sort of education. Well, thank you for coming in. We appreciate all this as always. Good to see you again. Thanks, you too. If you missed any of those recommendations uh, from Cassie, we are sharing them on our website as well. You'll find them posted at rochesterfirst.com.